John Kerry spills the beans on Israel strikes in Syria to their enemy, Iran. Leaks reveal. And this is from our Top Stories report, and I'm going to call this Top Story, Did John Kerry Reveal Top Secret to I- in- Info to Iran When He Told Them About Israel Mistral Strikes in Syria? And uh, this is uh, John Kerry, Israel, Syria Strike, Iran Top Secrets. We get to our top link here. Secret recording of Iranian FM reveals John Kerry told him about Israel's strike in Syria. That's from Breitbart. Oh, they have a typo. I think they meant reveals. It says rebels. I mean, it is rebels, too. And here's an excerpt from it. Former U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry allegedly, allegedly informed Iran that Israel had carried out at least 200 covert strikes against Iranian targets. Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammad Javed Zarif revealed in a leaked recording obtained by the New York Times. According to the Times, Zarif revealed he was often kept in the dark regarding security matters, sometimes to his embarrassment, and that, to his astonishment, Kerry, who continued meeting with Zarif even after leaving office, That's very interesting. Continued meeting with Zaref even after leaving office. See that? This is this man is uh, in the truest sense of the term. This man is an American traitor. He is the corpo state nationalist, the corpo state nationalist, if you ask me. And I'm sure that he's bitter that he doesn't get to be the one in charge. That he doesn't get to be the uh, the weekend at Biden. That is the Biden administration. The weekend at Bernie's is the reference there. I think if you've seen the movie, you know I'm talking about. Uh, that uh, he doesn't get to be the weekend at Biden uh, that gets to, to, to lord it over the pores of America, b- b- browbeating with the with moral supremacism while he undermines the one remaining protection that they have against the corporal state nationalist, which is King Bill, the Bill of Rights. So he continued to meet with Zara even after he was out of office. And uh, told him that Israel had attacked Iranian interest in Syria at least 200 times. Now, of course, John Kerry, I'm going to, because when I made this report, this this latest thing hadn't come out yet. And I want to go to this. Now, let's go to this here. All righty. And let's get the news here. John Kerry denies ever having discussed Israeli strikes in Syria with Iran's foreign minister. Did John Kerry share secrets? Uh, Israeli ops with Iran? Climate czar faces resignation calls. He should face more than resignation calls. He should face criminal charges for that. I mean, that's... Let's see what Google has to say. Let's see. Google, what do you have to say? Kerry denies discussing Israeli strikes with Iran. DHS will review how it handles extremism. That, that's, that's what you're going to show for this search? Uh, that's interesting. Yeah, I'm, I'm following this story, by the way. The HS will review how it handles. Uh, yeah, I'm following that as well. Let's get back to this, though. So we got a little bit more here uh, for our top stories report. We'll just go over some of these here. We have Louisiana public university leaders reject COVID vaccine mandates. That's from the College Fix. And we have UK leader denies saying hundreds of bodies better than lockdown. And that I'll read the excerpt for that one. That's interesting. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson has denied a press report which quoted him as allegedly saying he would rather see bodies pile high in their thousands than impose a third national lockdown on the country. I'm inclined to believe he probably didn't say that, but I don't know. But uh, you know, the media being what it is, alleged anonymous sources, the alleged anonymous sources trick. Beaver temporarily cut off remote town from outside world by chewing through fiber optic optic table. This is from RT. And this is a small town in British Columbia, Canada. Canada was plunged into the dark. Practically, like, with just without the internet, that's enough to say you're plunged into the dark. <laughs> that is, that's amazing. After a marauding, a mob of beavers gnawed their way through fiber optic cables, supplying phone, TV, and internet nice i don't know if you should say that you're in the dark ages because you don't have phone tv and internet i don't think the 1700s had any of those things and that's the age of the enlightenment there's a story there to talk about the failure of the age of enlightenment how it led to 
Well, it led to the 20th century, ultimately, which is wholesale death. And the 21st century looks to try to tell the 20th century, hold my beer. Judge dismisses lawsuit to block transgender females from competing in female sport, sports. That's legal insurrection. Florida family reportedly makes $1 million selling bottles of COVID-19 cure. I laugh, but, I, you know, it's not really funny. It's funny, but it's not. It's pretty hideous. Uh, and that that was nothing more than bleach. Now they're facing charges. This is from TheBlaze.com. Yeah, they should face charges. And anybody that may have bought these and then took them and then died, then, you, yeah, there should be some serious multiple charges. I don't know how many people took these and what the results of the cases were, but if anybody died, they should be held accountable for that. Maybe murder. Maybe second-degree murder. Beijing tells Australia... I don't know all the specifics of what first, second, third degree murder, but I think second degree murder probably applies. Beijing tells Australian Defense Minister Peter Dutton to abide by one China principle after Taiwan warning. Oh gosh, these guys. I mean, you, you you have your 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 wolf policy and then your uh, your your soft power policy. This is this is the wolf policy of, of Beijing and Chairman Z. Chairman Z is coming unhinged and I'm happy to see it. Oh, well, yeah, because it's it's making people less and less tolerant of China, the, the nation state, not the people. Uh, excerpt here. Tensions between China and Australia may escalate further. Diplomatic observers have warned after the Australian defense minister said conflict with Beijing over Taiwan should not be discounted and suggested a Chinese port lease could be terminated. Could be, should be. Nobody should be doing business with these uh, these uh, these fascistic nationalists. No one, least of all. Well, you know who's in bed with these fascistic nationalists up to their ears while they while they preach that they're against fascism, while they use the against fascist, while they use the the boogeyman of fascism, even though there is some real threats of fascism from the right. I don't want to say that. But again, it's degrees while they use that and they browbeat the rest of us with their moral construct of their moral supremacisms. Uh, the people who rely on China for their very power, their ability to make people rather than serve people, it's the corporate state nationalists right here in America in, in bed with and led by and led with and well leading, I should say, the Democrat National uh, Corporation and the RNC, which is the Washington generals of, of this basketball game, if you will, the uh, Republican National Corporation. And there you go. It's the end of this story. Well, it's the end of this top story report.